if you look at some of my older videos in this series, you'll see some sketches where I had the battery box centered in this area here. However, when I did that, I didn't take into account the fact that there's much more room with a closet on this side than there is on that side of the bed, which means everything's shifted off that way. So if I want the weight more centered, it has to come this direction. So I'm gonna sit here and figure out where things are gonna land if I move it around and get that weight more centered on the uh, pin box. Hopefully you'll see the time lapse of me putting these together. We got bank one, cell one through eight, bank two, cell one through cell eight. Now we're going to start uh, wiring it up. I'm going to go back to time lapse. Before I start putting the bus bars on, I'm actually going to uh, tighten down my bolts, check, make sure things are secure. in the compression stage. Um, I had this set to the right compression, everything was there. I backed off these screws exactly two turns, so I know to give it exactly two turns to put it back to the same amount of compression it had. Uh, so there's six screws there that have to turn in, compress the cells, two on the outside, two on the inside, and two on the outside. I'm going to do that first. Those are all snug. And the cells are compressed, not moving. Get that off of there. You can't lift them up. You can't slide to side. So the cells are locked in now. Compressed nicely, but not over compressed. Okay, with them pre-made, ladder step like this, there's no way to really mess it up. Main bank negative, black. First cell positive, second cell positive, third cell positive, fourth cell positive, and so on. Um, as I mentioned, the uh, JK BMS has a main BMS power line plus the eighth cell. Uh, that's because you can use four to eight cells, so they want them to have the main power off of one and then just read it up to the number of cells. All right, uh, I think we're ready to torque this one down, put everything together and turn on the BMS, see what it looks like. Actually, no, because I still need to, I pre-made these, but I haven't done heat shrink on them yet, so I still need to do some wiring first. So I'm gonna get everything set up on the second battery, torque both of them down at the same time, make sure everything's done and uh, then I'll heat shrink everything get them all ready to go Okay, I want to apologize for the time lapse cutting out. Apparently I ran out of memory and uh, didn't go. But I got everything hooked up, torqued down, turned uh, bank two on first. Everything was all set up properly. There was zero millivolt difference between the cells. Set up bank one, turned it on. There was a one millivolt difference between the cells. So everything's balanced. I have had them inside the house parallel together um, for probably a month or more, so they're dead even. 
Right now, I'm not going to actually turn on the charge or discharge for the BMS until I get the positive side run. I still have to do all the uh, wiring for that. But just like yesterday's or previous videos, I'm, I can't do a continuous time lapse, so I'm going to uh, cut it off and give you updates as I go along. Batteries are in. My negative bus bar, the, the bracket itself is screwed down and then those are in. I still have to make the negative wire coming from there to the other side of the links. And then I still have to build out all of the positive wires. The box is securely mounted, lagged into the floor, and through bolted through the frame that I made for the batteries. So this part's done. Let's move on to actually wiring it up and seeing if there's 24 volts going to any uh, the charge controllers so I can start configuring them. Okay, the uh, battery slash control box here is uh, close to being done. I still have to get the uh, Serbo GX installed on this wall over here. I already got ventilation coming in from this side. Got all my wiring. Everything's wired up. The fans over here, the fans are not wired up because the servo is not in yet. And it's gonna, that's what's going to run the fans, but they're there. Um, I've got the pre-charge circuit already set up with a push button. And before I get to the servo and all that stuff, I'm going to go down in the bin underneath and install the inverter. All right, if you couldn't tell by the fan noise, the inverter's working. So it's currently bulk charging my batteries. I've got that run. The 12 volt system comes down from upstairs. The old battery, obviously the factory one, so it's here. There was another one right next to it, and both of them just went in here to this point. So that's where I ran my 12 volt source, just like it was coming off the bat batteries that were here. So everything else was uh, pretty simple. I've got to seal up those holes going into the inside. Uh, that's our my 110 in and out, obviously, and uh, got a lot of cleanup to do. And put everything back in this bay 